example one. What type of isomer is each of the pairs of molecules shown below? Remember that isomers have the same molecular formula. So let's just double check and see that that's true. I have two carbons here, two bromines, and two hydrogens. On the, the other molecule, I also have two carbons, two bromines, two hydrogens. Same molecular formula. The first type of isomer is a structural isomer. So let's see if they have the same bonding partners. Each carbon is double bonded to another carbon on both of these. And then each carbon is bonded to bromine and hydrogen. Bromine, hydrogen. Same here. But they're not the same geometrically. They differ in their spatial arrangement. So these are not structural isomers since they have the same bonding partners. In fact, they're geometric isomers. And one clue to this is the double bond. This inflexible double bond holds these molecules in a certain conformation where the two bromine molecules are on one side in this isomer, so this would be the cis isomer, and they're on the opposite sides in the other isomer, and this is known as the trans isomer. So that's my first set of molecules. The second set, I'm going to double check and make sure the molecular formulas are the same. One, two, three carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens. Three carbons, eight hydrogens, one oxygen. Over here, one, two, three carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens, one oxygen. So these have the same molecular formula. Next thing to check, are the bonding partners the same? Here I have a linear arrangement of carbon, 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 and then oxygen. Here I have the three carbons, but instead of the oxygen being bonded to a carbon on the end, the oxygen is bonded to a middle carbon. Therefore, the covalent bonding is different. And these are, in fact, structural isomers. These are both forms of propanolol. This is actually propyl alcohol, while this one is isopropyl alcohol. And again, these different isomers are going to have different properties. So the first example was geometric isomer. The second is an example of structural isomers.